Hi, I'm Steve Geist with Swingle Lawn Tree and Landscape Care in Plant Talk, Colorado. And today we're going to talk about Japanese beetles. Here we have a rose that is infested with adult Japanese beetles feeding on the rose buds. Actually, they've gotten so voracious here that they're actually eating the rose buds before they open. We also can see some of the lacy foliage from the uh, Japanese beetle feeding. The Japanese beetles will feed in between the veins of the leaf. Now, Japanese beetles are a pest of landscape plants, uh, flowers, shrubbery, trees, and also lawns. Some people believe that they can purchase Japanese beetle traps, hang them up in their landscape, and that will control the beetle. Actually, Japanese beetle traps attract more beetles because the Japanese beetles will go into the trap, die, and their scent will attract more beetles to your landscape. Other ways to treat Japanese beetles, you can actually hand pick them off the leaves or shake the plant material and dislodge the beetles and have a bucket of soapy water underneath the plant for the beetles to drop down into and die. Japanese beetle is a great flyer and it can fly from one property to the next. So even though you've treated your lawn for the Japanese beetle grubs, the Japanese beetles will come in from neighboring properties and feed on your plant material. When treating your lawn, uh, the best uh, insecticide treatments are granular products. Uh, and many of these products are also uh, can be impactful to pollinators especially lawns that have clover in them and also dandelions are, are heavily visited by bees. So your best management practice when treating a lawn is to first mow off all of the uh, flowers in the lawn prior to doing your uh, insecticide treatment. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.